So hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. It is time, it's time for the last episode of season one of The Ones Who Live. I can't believe we're already at the end. Oh, my light just fell. My light has given up the will. Stop. My ring light heard last episode news went, I'm out. These last six weeks have gone by so fast. I'm kind of nervous. I think everyone's nervous going into this episode because it's like, are we gonna get a season two? Like, what's gonna happen? Are we gonna lose characters? I'm not even thinking that, okay? The show's called The Ones Who Live. So we're all gonna be okay. I want a happy ending. I want a really happy ending, and I might be a little bit delusional. That's fine. The writing so far this season, everything has just been absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna do a whole breakdown video about the season. I'll probably do like a chat video about this episode and then an overview of the season because there's so much to talk about. And I can't wait for it to be finished because I want to go back and rewatch it from start to finish. But yeah, as always, the more extended version of this is going up on my Patreon, along with a bunch of other Patreon exclusive content. There's live streams, film reactions, a bunch of show reactions. Link to my Twitter, Instagram, anywhere else you can find me is in the description. I don't want to start it because then we've started the end. We're staying in delusional town. We might get a season two. Oh, they cannot get enough of each other. I know how to build things and I know how to burn things. Nash. Look at them. Their nightstand is Why filled with their here? weapons. Oh, I love them. Is someone you love, I think? The artistry in this show is so beautiful. It focuses on just love. Bring what we know to the city, then go home. I'm sweating. I'm sweating from my hands. From nerves. I'm Sergeant Major Rick Grimes. Rick has the ultimate plot armor. My man has survived I don't know how many near-death attempts. You gave them the deep, but he said, tell me what happened. Oh, it was turbulent, sweet. He had a little mini romantic holiday. That is what he's been up to. And now I realize that giving up can be a sign of strength, commitment to something bigger than oneself. That's so cool for you. you I'm not giving up. I found my love. Oh, I've got a whole plan. He was never really young. Not in the way he should have been. That's why he died. It's time to let go of his bullshit. Well, show me. She believed that. She believed that he's in on this. That he's like fully invested. She doesn't know him at all. Where did you come from? She just sprung out of a tree. He wants to talk to you. It's got to be John Locke, right? We've seen like nothing of him this season. I thought he was supposed to be the big bad. The end of the world. In the beginning of the world. And we're the dead ones, Rick. No, we're not. But we're the ones who live. Food or out of compulsion, isn't that right? Our scientists haven't figured it out. Yeah, I'm starting to think we won't. We've had so many spin-offs. Oh, look, a little painting of Father Gabriel. No oh, way. She hid all of their information in the asshole of a sculpture. Jadis left that note here in case anything happened to her so they could all go after Alexandria. Oh, do not leave those shreds on the floor. You have to burn them or eat them. I would not leave any evidence here. But like she left that here so someone could find it, but it was in a statue. How is anyone ever going to find that, like, accidentally? Just a second. I'm naked arts and crafts thing. Oh, baby, you could have hidden behind that door. Now there's going to be a corpse in the room. What's the worst thing you did to make sure someone else survived? I killed someone with my teeth. <laughs> like they do. I'm sorry you had to do that. He's like, yeah, but I don't regret it. It was metal as all hell. Yes. Special on briefing. 2,533 times. The soldiers you've picked soldier in question. clearly have not been that elite if they all failed. So when I was 18... I signed up to fight. Those are the tiniest cups I've ever seen. He's like, those people that raised you, they did not Vietnam, teach you how to make a big twice. proper cup of tea? Wait, maybe it's coffee. Is this like espresso or something? I don't think Rick needs that. He already has so much going on. He must be vibrating with stress right now. I think caffeine's the last thing you need, Rick. He's probably going to start running up walls, doing fucking backflips. See, we're always planning for the future. She's like, oh my God. Judith or RJ would love this. Those flashbacks are gorgeous. I, I evacuated our forces under the cover of night and let the dead overwhelm their troops. 
That is just a shithead decision. I saved Philadelphia by sacrificing Pittsburgh. That's kind of like the story Rick Rick told about his dad. Lines, but my dad taught me sometimes things have to burn to bring things back. And that's the whole team of the season, like fire. It's a gorgeous so aesthetic. The most likely outcome is that we're all gonna die. Glass half empty kind of guy. I like it. I can relate. Well, Rick is like that's grand. You can all die on your own terms. I'm fucking off. I'm gonna get my wife and get the fuck out of here. One of the most sensitive aspects to Operation N1W is the child evacuation. People now have 14 or so years left on this planet. Could be quicker. To facilitate an evacuation of selected children. Select the children. Destroys communities for what happens to the ones that aren't? It will result in an evacuation of possibly 10% of the children in the city. Oh my god. Before the area is gassed. And in 18 hours, we will take our final action to leave us as the supreme force on this continent, maybe the world. He thinks by fucking everything up except for, for our colony right here that that's helping the world. And further eliminate any growing competition, we will take their resources and ensure supremacy. Oh yeah, his, our home is totally Zeke! <laughs> our home is totally fucked, so. The participating forces will experience. Anything changes on base, keep walking. Neither of us are gonna wanna leave now. This place is so fucked up. After everything, I think that the next leader that might be you. Who was the person closest to you who's died? All of this. I'm not telling you that. You don't deserve to know that. Suck a dick. My son, you could keep them safe. You could bring them to us. I'm taking that chance on you. I don't think our people would do well in this environment. Swear on the sword. Oh my! Jesus! He couldn't even half play pretend. Oh my god. You don't know who you're fucking with. This is Rick Grimes, okay? Baldy here looks like he's gonna steal the moon, but Rick Grimes. Rick Grimes is not a match for anyone, okay? Goddamn Okafor! No. I never lost my son. I'm Rick. I lost. He brought me back. My wife brought me back. We're the sword that gives life. We're not dead. Oh, but you are. You are. Oh, that was all very Shakespearean. Spins to an imaginary audience and scene. My god, he got like no time in the show at all. Rick just walked into this room, let him talk his fucking shit, let him ramble on about his crazy theories. And Rick just went, okay, time to die now. Stab him. It's crimes over. You want to meet now? Over. No. No, no. I have a body to dispose of. <laughs> Can't he just like declare himself leader now? Can't he just be like, um, there was an unfortunate happening in Beale's office. But he swore me in, he gave me the sword. Oh my god, you just have a body in that big old laundry basket. Oh Jesus. Be cool. Oh, you're going to six as well, are you? What are the fucking chances? Both of them, both of them, they're both racking up a body count on this mission. Rashawn had a clear plan. Both of them had a clear plan. Instructions unclear, I guess. We've both killed someone. Distract him. Be like, what's that up there? Look at that. Do you think this elevator is secure? Do you hear a hissing coming from above us? Look up there. And then when six opens, shoves him out. Get out! <laughs> the elevator is not safe. You shouldn't have looked, man. Now I gotta put you in my box of bodies. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, our corpse is being robbed by the elevator. Oh fuck. We can't go home. Not yet. What's in it? Beal. <laughs> he didn't even know how to go about starting that sentence. She's not gonna end up being a villain, is she? Because I had the feeling she was gonna be on our side. Took some inspiration from the genius known as Nat. We could just go. This is what we have to do. That's fascinating, the role reversal. He's the one now being like, we can just leave, come on. Not seeing our kids growing up. I know we can't, but I just, I just want to go back. We can, once we fix this. We are back. Oh God, they're so in love. It's so gorgeous. I love their love. 
Oh, you again. Okay, that makes no goddamn sense. He left his hand here on the window, so but he just bludgeoned someone to death with his hand in the in the elevator. Does he have multiple hands? They look like all the evil fuckers in Star Wars. For the Empire, whatever the fuck they be saying. I have something for you. Oh wait, is that Beale's sword? He's just always given his woman weapons. What was that, little hop? Do you see that? Oh, we're leading him. Come on, my little bald baby. Let's go for a walk. Where's Bill? Hey, he's out. You lied to me. He's out giving the speech. What did you do? Nothing. Put your bag down. Just rush her. Just rush her and club her head in. And you are going to undo whatever you did. <laughs> um, can you unwalk her a person? Because I don't know. When I find Bill, we're gonna kill her. That was the nod. That was the murderous nod. Holding hands before they fuck shit up. Oh, you're going to fix this. Like... What did they just pour on themselves? Is they just pour die? Did they just die? Did they? Are they? What the fuck? Just what? Oh, everybody's dead. Just a little How did we survive this? Everyone else died except for us. We were right beside the explosion. Do you know what? Never mind. I don't give a fuck. I did not hear a word of that. I just saw a dripping wet Rick Grimes and just fucking brain empty, no thoughts. You destroyed the whole world! I don't really care. I just want to go home to my family. Do you know what I mean? Oh. Where's Michonne? <laughs> Did you ever get so stressed your hands turn into claws? They're not gonna kill off Rick, are they? With no shit, Sherlock! Did she just realise that Michonne is the woman that Rick was in love with? Yeah, fucking Egypt, you're slow on the uptake. I can't lose him again, they're not gonna kill him again, are they? Your love is kind of not looking good. You're looking like he's up shit's creek without a paddle right now, though. I'm gonna need you to what the fuck? Oh my god, was that a grenade? Did he just put a grenade? Did he just. Oh my god, it must be Easter weekend because Rick Grimes has risen from the dead yet again. You should kiss Rick in front of her just to piss her off even more. Love doesn't die! <laughs> Have you ever been so determined to live that you use a fucking walker as a little stepping stool? Get the fuck off my wife. Well, all right, what now? DRM Force Command, including Major General Jonathan Beale. All casualties of the incident, free movement has been established for the Republic as they may arrive. And it's all because of them. The they did this. has shifted beyond the CR's defense. Thank you. Thank you. Oh no way. Oh no way. Oh no way, we are not. Are we going home? Oh my god, we've gone home. Look at how they ran right to their mommy. Oh my god, Rick looks so nervous. Look at him. He's home. I knew it, Dad. I knew you were so happy. And you knew that your mom would bring him back to you. Oh, Jesus Christ. I never wanted you to feel alone. RJ, come meet the grave, man. Oh, shut up. This is all I wanted. This is all I wanted from this fucking show. You're a brave man? I am. You can call me dad. I believed. The Grimes family are back together. Look at RJ's little boots. They look, they look just like Rick's boots. Oh, shut up. Oh, my God. That is all I wanted from this show was journey of Rick finding him and them, them uniting with their family. I have to say there were some moments there I was sweating from parts of my body that I did not know I could sweat. I thought Rick at, at least two different times was a goddamn goner. Okay? At least twice. I have so many thoughts on that. I thought that was a gorgeous way to end. That was a really beautiful ending. 
I feel like the CRM kind of just all happens so quick at the end there. Um, but you know what? I don't really care. I mean, I feel like, to be fair, like we got like the we got World Beyond, which dealt very heavily with the CRM. The CRM was featured in this as well. I didn't watch this for the CRM. That's not why I was tuning into the show. I was watching this for Rick and Michonne. Do you know what I mean? So like that's all I wanted, and they did such a beautiful, beautiful job. Oh, that was just. I'm going to be doing a whole chat video talking about this. Actually, I might just rewatch the episode this evening. I might rewatch it again, make some notes, and um, I'll be doing a chat video in the upcoming days. I'm just kind of sad, though. It feels like it feels like we ended The Walking Dead all over again. You know what I mean? I had to live through that shit once. I had to deal with fucking The Walking Dead ending. Sh shook my little brain. So it did. And then I feel like this was just that happening all over again. I'm like... I mean, it was a clean end. It's still kind of open-ended, so if they wanted to do something regarding a season... Sorry, my eyelashes are... My top eyelashes are sticking to my bottom ones because my makeup is not waterproof and it's just... It's burning my eyes. <laughs> this happened to me last week too. You'd think I'd learn. I don't fucking learn. I'm wearing the eye-burning mascara. Again. It kind of left it open-ended in a way that they could come back for a season two, but I don't know. I, I'm... I can't wait to watch it again. I thought it was just stunning. Listen, I'll go completely into depth in my chat video. I'm going to break down this episode and then I'm probably going to do another separate video of the entire season as an overview, touching on as much as I can. Um, for now, that is it for the ones who live. I can't believe we're already here. This, this sucks. <sighs> six episodes. You give us six fucking episodes. The six weeks then and it's over. What am I supposed to do now? Huh? Rewatch it. Yeah, I know I will. But like, Oh, that is it for this reaction, you guys. Thank you so much for watching along for the reactions for this with me. I'll be doing Dead City and Daryl Dixon reactions as well when they start back up. Uh, but yeah, like I said at the beginning, the extended version's gone up over on Patreon. For now, that's it for the ones who live. Come live in delusional town with me. Come with me. Come with me. We're going to get a season two. We're going to get a season two and it's going to be great. We're going to get a season two and it's going to be announced soon and it's going to be out like by the end of the year, right? And it's going to be a 21 episode season. <laughs> Duh. But that's it for this reaction, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you all soon.